Uh, look, to be honest, I haven't spoken to the players about that yet. Um, look, I don't think the conditions were that different, to be fair. I mean, the dimensions of the ground are slightly different. We know that they're bigger, bigger square boundaries here in Abu Dhabi than what we played on in Dubai. Um, well, at the end of the day, I think today we, we were just outplayed. You know, we were a little bit off our absolute best. I thought the Sunrisers did what they needed to do, especially with the bat. You know, they had top order partnerships. They rotated the strike well. Um, and they had a few of their top order going and make big scores. So at the end of the day, that was probably the difference in the game. Um, no, not when they got out. I think if you have one of those batsmen that go on and make a big score, like if one of those guys goes on and gets a 60 or 70 plus score, then we, we probably win the game. I mean, we, you look back now, we're running 15 runs away at the end of the game. So, I mean, you can, you can break that down in, in any way that you want. You know, w w was it just that one big over that we were short on today? Was it that we didn't get enough in the power play? Was it that one of our top order batsmen didn't go on and get a big score? You know, so they're all the things that we'll sit back and talk about tonight and analyse what we did well and what we didn't do so well in the game. But, you know, at the Delhi Capitals, we don't, sit, we don't sit back and blame any one person. We lost the game as a team tonight. Um, it didn't look to get any slower. I think it actually started quite slow. It, I mean, visually today it looked like a really, really good wicket. A little bit of grass on it was nice and hard. As we saw with the new ball, there wasn't a lot of bounce. Um, and I thought Warner and Best, I just played the conditions really well early on. Um, you know, they got the boundaries when they needed to. They ran the twos exceptionally well to our guys in the outfield, which is something that we need to talk about on this ground. But I, I think the wicket, if anything, it, it might have been slightly better in the second innings, um, which is disappointing for us. You know, having having won the toss and, and deciding to bowl first. You know, we wanted to chase. We, we felt there might have been a bit of dew on the ground and having just walked off the outfield now, there was a bit of dew there. So, look, no excuses from us. At the end of the day, we, we think we just outplayed. Um, look, he's just the ultimate um, competitor, to be honest. He, he loves the game. He loves playing the game. He loves competing. He loves, you know, pitting himself against some of the best batsmen in the world and more often than not, certainly the last couple of years anyway for the Delhi Capitals, he's performed exceptionally well. So, look, there are little things that he works on. Um, you know, I wouldn't say he's someone that needs to turn up and bowl, you know, eight overs off his long run of training every day. He's more of a feel sort of bowler and a rhythm bowler. So that's the stuff that we've been working on, on uh, with him. And so far in this tournament, he's been outstanding once again. Oh, look, I think it was pretty obvious who we, who we needed to target tonight. That was Abhishek Sharma. Um, and he just snuck away from us a little bit. You know, we lost the wicket in the eighth over. Uh, Rashid Khan came in and got Shreyas a year out, which meant that Abhishek was able, was able to get away with bowling to a new batsman. So we really targeted his third over and, he, and his fourth over. We didn't get as many off his third over as we needed to. And the game from that moment on sort of started to slip away from us. So. All in all, I thought they did a good job. You know, they got an early wicket. Bhuvaneshwar got a wicket early on, pretty sure. Uh, Khalil and Nataranjan, I think they, they executed their, their Yorkers better than we did. So that's what I'll talk to our team about. You know, we were, we were outplayed. Um, you look back at the skills that they showed tonight compared to us, then, you know, it's pretty evident that we've got a little bit of work to do. Uh, I think putting runs on the board, batting first was good. Um, lost the toss, so we had to obviously bat first. I felt they bowled very, very well in the power play. Uh, restricted me and Johnny. However, I felt that me and, me and uh, Johnny, we know we hit a lot of fielders. Nice, some good shots, but um, I think they executed very well in the power play. Change of pace. Had good fields uh, for us, and we just, you know, couldn't get uh, the gaps either side. But all in all, I think, uh, you know, the way that we approached it through the middle, Kane Williamson coming in. Manish Pandey tried to try to get on with it, but he obviously uh, he got out. Um, but you know, credit to, to the way our bowlers played as well, the way that they bowled there um, through the through the middle, especially um, with two two left-handers, especially going uh, pretty well. Our uh, our death bowling through the middle was ex ex outstanding as well. Well, I just think at the end of the day, it's about you know having a bit of luck. You know, as I said just before, we hit a lot of fielders. Could have went the other way. We could have both got out and uh, could have been two for thirty odd after six. But we we knuckled down and, and played our way. Um, it's what we try and set out to do every game. So you know, at the end of the day, it's it's that's how the game pans out. You have some good days, you have some bad days. Rash is rash. He knows what he has to do, and the way he came out and delivered tonight was um, exceptionally great. Um, he knows exactly what he has to do. 
He bowled stump to stump and you know built up a lot of pressure. Uh, he knew he had, he had a big role tonight with um, young Abhishek at the other end, and we had Samad as well who would have bowled some overs, but um, Abhishek bowled um, you know, four overs with only getting hit, I think, towards the back end. So it had an extra bit of pressure uh, for, for Rash, and you know he held his nerve and was outstanding. Yeah, look, I think we were on par to try and get 170, 180, but uh, all the talk about our middle order not being good enough and um, not playing well, well, we put our, put our game together tonight and uh, we backed ourselves, played, uh, played fluently, and got ourselves to a positive total. In the halftime break, we, bow, we, we, we said to the bowlers that we had to hit the right lengths. Um, they bowled exceptionally well in the power play, so it was going to be one where you had to try and take wickets early, um, because if you had wickets at the end with the due factor that was there, um, you know, it could have been a different story, but we held our nerve and we bowled very well. Well, the structure that we had to go with today was we needed someone at the back end. Obviously, Nabi was unfortunate to miss out and him being the powerful hitter that we have towards the back end um, allowed us to, to bring Samad in and we knew he bowled some leg spin as well um, and he's a, he's a good power hitter. So we knew if we could bat well and have him back at the bottom end uh, you know, with the, with the overs, we knew what he's capable of. We, I've seen him hit some long, long balls and I was very, very impressed. And uh, it's just great to give these young guys a, an opportunity because where else to, to show your talent? If you can do it against the world's best, then you, you know that inside you, you have that belief and you're able to do that. So my, yeah, very well. Um, he's training well, he's doing everything um, we've asked. Um, everyone's gelling together. The great thing I think about the, the youth that we have in our team is the enthusiasm, the passion. They're funny, um, they want to learn and uh, they're really picking us senior um, players' brains and, and trying to get the upper edge, trying to work out how we go about our business, what we do extra work, um, how, how do we stay the le at the level that we have for a long time. They really want to learn and it's exciting and that's why these guys are getting a go because that's how we want them to play, play with freedom. Allow our senior guys to, to go out there and, and do the hard, the hard part about thinking about the game, they play the game. Let them play it, calm, clear, that's all they have to do. It was a big call picking him, but at the end of the day, if we get our top four batting right and we bat big, I back our bowlers to, to um, come up with the, with the goods. And for us, it's important that you know, we, we establish through the middle, um, you know, we have the four set batters at the top of the order, and then through the, the middle, we can't just have power hitters. Um, so, unfortunately, with Mitch Marsh going down, there's obviously a there's, there's pros and cons to the mix-ups of the teams and moving forward there's obviously going to be uh, opportunities where Naby will come in um, as well. But at the moment, um, you know, the, the team that we had today uh, was obviously batting, batting heavy and we wanted to try and put um, some big totals on the board or, or chase, chase totals as well. So that was how we wanted to go um, and obviously moving forward we'll have to discuss.